Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new tutorial. Uh, this time I would like to explain some of the steps I will do on the painting and assembly of this Helldragon. Here you see that I just started a little bit. But the first thing I want to show to you is that I haven't assembled all the pieces together. First of all, I don't have um, airbrush and I will not use airbrush. So it's going to be all done by a normal brush. What I have here is I have the pieces, you see here, I have all the pieces um, here as uh, sub assembled I do sub assemblies on the pieces and what I will do, I will paint them, I will start with the body, will paint the body, then I will do the neck for example, before assembly I will paint the neck and the reason to paint it separate is, is faster and it's easier, so to reach these parts here, once it's assembled, is is more difficult. But if you do it before your assembly, in that case, it's going to be easier. I also want to put some dynamic pose, so it will do something like that. And most likely, will put the head as much as can facing down. So it's going to be like that. I have to say that the pieces assembled well, very well, and what I did is I assembled this, the first part of the body with these small wings. I didn't put the parts that go here, I keep them attached to the, to the... because it will cover also some parts, but I will leave it black, and I prefer to paint them separately and assemble later on. What I did is I, I primed all the pieces before uh, assembly, before painting separately, and now I start painting. And I start painting from inside to outside, and this is why I start with the gold. And as I was doing the this type of spine, I also did this this wires or these things that are hanging here. And the only thing I did up to now is first to do gold. I apply first a base of Balthazar gold because it's covering very 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 well on black and then I applied a henna's gold and the next step I will do now I will do a wash with Agvat air shade in that way I will show all the texture that the sculptor gives to the, the miniature so I will use a standard brush in that case you don't need a lot of precision I apply all over the spin, spine, sorry. Okay, this will give you very nice shading. Will also matte a little bit the color, will kill a little bit the brightness. I think for that miniature is good. Uh, I have to say that the, the painting color I will look for that is Thousand Suns. So the armor plates, are, I will do combination of blue and yellow. And then I will use gold for the things that are looking like bone or the mechanical parts. And maybe some metal depending on the part. But the main color, the main color is going to be gold, yellow. And then I will do, I will do as I did on my hell brood. All the skin parts are going to be pinkish to simulate the colors or to to remember the the color of the pink horrors so and then because I'm normally what I play is I always try to play one god mixing demons and 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 chaos space marines so I like to combine demons and chaos space marines but I try to make them play under the same god or maximum use two gods it's a, a self-limiting that I normally impose, although I have troops from all the Chaos Gods and I also have some from Alpha Legion. So in that case, here I don't care if I go on the black, we'll paint later on, but what is important is that I have a nice shading. Here is very, it is important that you have a very uniform shading on, on all these wires and you are the, the, you make visible all these texture on the wires that is what is making the this interesting so as you can see now the texture is very nice uh, and it's looking quite good and 
what I will do, I will leave it upside down here, like that. So, this is the first step. I also want to show in parallel I'm working on the base. The base here, this is going to be like a flame from the dragon that is on the uh, is flaming this guy or half pass, and then this is the flame of the previous flaming attack. And here I will have some chaos symbols that I will paint them like are in red uh, metal, and these are going to be some trophies that I will rust and I will paint here. As you see here, I leave the cross where I'm going to put the base and I avoid to have sand on, on the cross to have a good union when I need to glue them together. So it's important, uh, I leave this in purpose because I want to ensure that later on when I want to assemble everything together everything is matching. So this is all uh, for this, uh, uh, this is not all, so this I know I have to wait until this is dry and uh, I will be back for the next step. So at this, uh, while I'm waiting for this to dry, I will start painting the next section, and I will start as I did on the other case by the by by the wires because they are the things that are more close, more um, hidden. And then here I will use a detail brush, and I will start painting each wire separately. So I will go one by one, painting them in in Balthazar Gold. As you can see here, sorry if I'm covering, as you see, it's covering very well on black. Balthazar Gold, I, yeah, Balthazar Gold is a very color to start painting gold or copper. So I will recommend it, at, I will strongly recommend this if you want to paint gold on black, um, on black prime because it's covering very well. As you can see, you don't need to do uh, two layers. Just one layer is covering very solidly, very well the black. So if you don't have it, I recommend, I highly recommend, strongly recommend this this color. It's very useful when you need to paint gold on black prime miniatures. So I will be back once I finish with all the wires. So you see now the. The wash is completely dry. It's giving a, a very nice shading. I think for for these wires, I will leave it as as it is, and uh, and only in the case of the of the of this spine or backbones, I I will use again Johannes gold to do some very little highlights on some parts like I'm doing here on, on this type of this part of the bone and then here at the end of the I will highlight a little bit to add some additional bright here So, sorry, I will do also these parts, these, the rings, Here on, on this on on the these things I will only do the very extreme or these big parts. I will not go into the wire itself. Here I will not do anything so just a very little um, touch on the different parts to do to add some extra highlight in some regions and that's all. So no no match because I think the shading and the and the texture is quite well well 
done at this moment and I don't think this, this part needs more work so the next thing I will do I will start doing this part that is a little bit like flesh and I will use as a, as a hell root and I don't know if you have seen my hell root before this whole the hell root is looking like so you see that the, this part is looking like flesh I wanted to use this pink color to to remember the 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 pink horrors. So I will try to do the same in the hell like on the on the flesh parts. And to do that I will start applying Emperor's Children pink. I will use the tail brush for the areas where it's close to the parts that I painting in, in gold before and and I will combine this with the standard brush depending on the need on the region I'm painting so what I will do is just uh, do a layer now of pink on all this fleshy part here at the back of, of the of the wagon of the drake sorry so just doing the, the base color and that's that's all so just water this down and keep doing and apply the base color so I will be back once all this is paint with Imperial Children pink this is how it's looking like after two layers of pink on this part okay you have to do two layers of pink because if you see here for example I just apply one layer the black is still visible and you can see so it's better to do two, lay two thin layers of pink and then you will have a solid color and now the next step I will do I will do a wash with Carlsberg Crimson here we, start, we have to be careful we don't put too much of this on the gold Although it's not going to be much visible on gold, but so what I will try to do is to apply it like the daily on the recesses. So you something. So in the way that you do all the shadings, here it's quite important to do it well make it uniform, don't leave any part without the shading so you apply this all over the pink part it's very important that you apply it generally on the, at the base because you want a dark shade at the base of the of this fleshy part so I'm just doing this all over the pink as you can see here okay so I do this this side as example as you can see you can see now all the different texture and all the different um, details sculpted on the miniature and I will do the same on, on all on the all the other parts on the tubes on the wires just apply a little bit, try to avoid to to put on to go on into the gold. Please not apply too much in, in the gold parts. Just a little bit. So something like that. Okay. I'm going to do the same here. And all this part. Okay. The top part. Okay. Y ahora aquí here now here we do that like that 
So that's, I will do the same here. So you they get the idea is to have this shading, you see this side compared to this one, is making the pink darker and you have much, um, you can see much better the detail. So I will keep doing that and I will do the same on the neck here on all this pink part, I will do this type same of shading. But first I need to do a second layer. So I will be back once I did the shading on this part. Now the wash is completely dry and what I will do, I will start highlighting first with the original color that was in Peril Children. Okay, I will do this part here as you can see and I will, and then I will do a second highlight and I will do it at the same time because I, in that way I can control. I will do second highlight with um, full beam pink. As you can see here now it's too much, the transition is too, too strong. What I will do is I will work to make it smoother. This is what I work with the two colors at the same time. So I will go again to this one, apply first impair children and then small highlight with that color. On the tubes I will do the same, so to highlight these tubes I will, I, and here on the tubes most likely I will not apply or I will apply very little of, of the full spin of the clear pink so this is what I'm doing here so just as you see that is convenience you apply the second color or you can also mix full beam 50-50 with Emperor's Children Peak to make the transition softer. Normally I do the mixture directly on the miniature bit. So like doing... So, so for example here I will make it very soft line. Then if I see that it's too much I apply again. What is important is we have a very nice highlight and we ha we here in the skin you can in that part you can go more irregular. The other part that is very important is this part that is next to the exhaust pipe or exhaust hole here. So I will first apply and pair children pink all around leaving this type of lots or lines with with without painting now with the previous layer okay you do something like that and then I will do To see here. If you think that the transition is too hard, go back to Imperial Children and make it softer. What you can do, I'm taking on my palette, I do a mixture 50 50, and then I have a good color for transition. So I keep working on the tubes here, so I will start working keep working on the tubes. I play the first full greens. Now I can apply the mixture a little bit. Here we can apply the mixture like that. So this is how I want to do the highlighting. 
So I will keep working directly on the miniature first and pairs children. Then I have a mixture 50-50 with full grim and then finally I apply full grim pink. So again for example in that part here, just as last example, I apply full grim pink. I always recommend when you do a wash you need to clean the wash later on. Then I apply the mixture that is 50-50. And finally, so I will keep doing that all over the miniature and I will be back once I finalize. So you see here how it's looking like now. This is how it looks like now the pink part. You see the highlights is more or less with the three layers I explained before, starting first with Emperor Children. Then I mix Emperor Children 50-50 with Full Green Pink and finally I apply Full Green Pink that is um, almost white in some cases. I also did the neck of the dragon here. You can see all the different wires are highlighted. I think I'm very happy with the result. I leave this without doing any extra job because this is just... I paint them pink because I don't want that you can see a different color in case it's visible but once this is assembled I don't think you will see that this bolt so this union so I just leave it like that and now I will start um, painting the armor plates but I will finalize the first part of the tutorial here and I will start a second part of the tutorial explaining how I do the armor plates of the Heldoic so this is all for this first part on the tutorial, thanks a lot for watching this first part and see you later on the second part, bye!